Once upon a time, Evernote was just a place to store your notes, but it's now moving into other areas to help with your productivity. That includes a new calendar feature, and today we'll take it for a spin. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, a certified Evernote expert. That means I took a test to become an expert, and the company now includes me and other experts in some of its planning and early looks at upcoming features. But once these new features are released, I use them for a while and then share my thoughts with you. So please subscribe if you want to learn how to use Evernote most effectively. So some time ago, Evernote allowed you to link to a Google Calendar. Uh, that was fine if you had a Google Calendar. Then it added Outlook's calendar to the integration scheme. Again, fine if you had an Outlook or a Google Calendar. That left most of us on the sidelines. But fairly recently, Evernote created its own calendar within its app. They told us it was in the early stages and they would be improving it. And they have been improving it. So this is kind of the daily calendar that uh, that Evernote provided with us. It's been up and running for some time now, but they're giving us different ways of looking at our information. So we can look at it, you know, by day. We can look at our information uh, as a week, full week, or we can look at it as an entire month, or we can look at this just as a list of appointments. So you can add your events and tasks to the screen. You still also have links to other calendars if you need them. Uh, but here in a practical sense is, is how you can use these. So if you just look at the schedule, it's just you know one event after another with no gaps. And so if you have multiple days, it'll just keep listing all your multiple days and all of your appointments. If you want to schedule a new event, uh, you come over here, you type the new event, You select the date that you want it to appear, the time that you want it to start, uh, whether you want it to be an all-day activity or you want it to end. The default is one hour. And uh, where do you want it to appear? In your Evernote calendar or if you have other calendars set up, uh, you have the option for that as well. You create the event and that event is created. If you look at uh, a day-to-day -day schedule, uh, here is the activity for a given day, that uh, appointments that I had previously set up. If you want to look at your data by the week, uh, it will plug in your appointments and you can see the week as a whole. Or you can check out all your appointments uh, for the entire month. Or again, if you want to go back to the schedule, you can look at it that way. I really like these improvements to the calendar. It's clear that Evernote is trying to become our one-stop productivity center and not just a place where you store your notes. I post videos about Evernote and how to get the most out of that app on most Mondays, so please subscribe so you don't miss any of them.